Do you guys can give us some carrots? Please. I'll just start from the right to the left. Good girl. So you can see with Mia, she's got nice big buggy eyes. You see that? And she's got, she's got a nice width between the eyes, which, you know, Vanessa does not have. Oh, we're she's, slow uh, all over. Right now, she's five months pregnant. Oh. A stallion called Magic Many Feet. She's due in June. So he's a Swedish stallion. Remember you asked me about some champions? I'll show you some champions right now. So he's... Uh, Famous for his beautiful head. So this is, let's see, uh, if you if you want to Google Magic Magnifique, Arabian Stallion, you can see what I'm talking about. But that's the stallion that hopefully will will be adding some refinements. I, I want some refinements mainly to the muzzle area. See how refined his muzzle is, and you know, kind of make the face a little more prominent. Yeah. Watch, watch your back. So Mia is, Mia also is a very calm Mary. See all the chestnut guts on her body? Yeah. Okay, if you come to this side, you'll see something that they call the bloody shoulder. If you come over here to this side, so see the mm. group of chestnut guts in here? We call this a bloody shoulder. And there's a legend about this. They say that the grandson of the prophet uh, was killed and was carried on this horse, brought, brought back on that tribe, and his blood stained, you know, the shoulder of the horse. And so, you know, the thing is that ba that that mare had a baby, and the baby had that stain. They say. So it's a legend. I don't think it's true. But now horses, gray horses that have these blood uh, bloody shoulders, you know, the prices go up because of that legend. So they make up sometimes these stories, right? Um, uh, to kind of, I guess, enhance the value of these horses, right? But you know, these are these are. Uh, and you can see the chestnut. You know, this is like a roadmap for me that you know something important in that chestnut color. Okay. Also, uh, Mia is a very fancy mover. Okay, but I don't want to put her into any kind of action right now. Not because she's pregnant, she's fine, but she just hurt herself. See their leg, her back leg here, back left leg. Mm -hmm. She hurt herself yeah, here somewhere. Like you know, she got a little bit excited. So, uh, you know, but she's a very calm mare, and she's the dominant mare. So she's the leader of the pack, actually. Mm -hmm. And how can you tell? How can you tell if a horse is dominant? How can you tell? If a, if, a, if a dog is dominant, he's the alpha, how can you tell? He's in the front no, and calm. <laughs> what is it? Eats first. Eats first? No. <laughs> More calmer? Calmer. Okay. Yep. Okay. So the calmer they are, and that's why these are the lessons that kids learn, you know. If you want to be a leader, you want to be calm, right? The alpha is always calm. Yes, they're always calm. I and mean, she's actually the calmest among these horses over there. But she's the boss. When, when they move in a group, she's, she's the leader. Okay? Mm -hmm. So she's, you can see the feminine features, she has feminine features versus masculine features, but they're probably going to cross very well with each other. So I would say she's like the feminine mother, the Saglawi, they were able to trace her family, her female tail line, all the way to a mare called Waduda in the Syrian desert, okay, from a Siglawi Abad, she's a Siglawi Abad strain, Abad means, you know, it describes the tribe that she came from. You know, there's pedigree gurus, there's a lady called Kathleen Majid, you pay her a little bit of money, she could do that research. Um, uh, and, and I would say the filly that you saw, uh, Maram, she's more like the Ma'nagi mother, more like the speedy mother, you know, that because she has smaller eyes, a little bit of a rounded croup, you know, she's got a nice size hip, but, you know, not an ideal croup, you know, her mother didn't pass that on to her. So, but she probably could be a very good, you know, fast horse, right? And then, hey, how you doing, right? 
and then and then uh, and then she would be more like the masculine mother, the Kailan mother. You know, you could see the difference, right? So there's some differences between them, but they're they're all kind of grouped into that Arabian um, uh, family. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Vanessa, the chestnut mare, out. Okay. We're going to learn how to put the halter on. We're going to learn how to lunge, right? And then we'll groom and tack, and then I'll give you a a, a riding lesson here. Okay. So stay with me. Okay. <laughs> 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 <